Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Man, on the evening scripture study on his 31st day in um, uh, August 22K. JB, bro, good to see you on, family. Al Mal in the building. We got Yosef up in here. Or Cuddy McBuddy, of course. Battle up in here. We got Stone. Hallelujah. As y'all slowly trickle on in, feel free to push the uh, share button and the like button. Hallelujah. Push the share button and the like button. Let folks know. Hallelujah. Uh, that that we, we back up on. Uh, lightweight, doing a, a, a part two of what we, with the most high started with, hallelujah, um, this morning, hallelujah. Starting to first verse, look what it says, oh, no, we're going to pray, let's pray. <clears throat> Spirit of the most high, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, homies, we know how we're in love with you and we need you, we believe in you and trust in you. You know, at your word, you all we got in these wicked times, and we celebrate the fact that you're all we need. Uh, show up and show out and strengthen us and illuminate us. And, uh, mess up the devil's plan. Uh, cause an east fire for your children's sake. Um, yeah, for for your children's sake. Call. Cause, cause the Goshen to appear um, and uh, avenge your children according to your will as we submit to you. Hallelujah. Make a way for the believer in the valley of the shadow of death and see the relevant words of the way that we may continue to grow in your presence, in your hushes. A magnificent name we help me pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all men. Nicole, good to see you. Miss Robinson up in here, good to see you. Shalom, shalom. Y'all push the share button. Hallelujah. And the like button. Uh, Colt, uh, if you could do Travis, is in here with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back to Galatians 6. We got we got to pull some more food out of what we were talking about this morning. Excuse me, y'all. Such a great blessing. And here we go. Brother, <clears throat> if a man be overtaken in, in a fault, you which are spiritual, uh, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Um, the fallen state of humanity was responded to by the Most High, he responded. And his response was, he so loved us that he gave his only begotten Son. And whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the next verse went on to say, he didn't send his Son into the world to condemn the world, because he was already condemned. He didn't send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Now, if we overlook the fact that the world was already condemned, if we if we if if we fail to really look at that for what it really is saying, we we we, we don't get the full essence of what we're dealing with. Um, he didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world because the world was already condemned, aka scandalous, aka sexually perverted, racist, funny style and. Adulterous, yeah, yeah, evil, murderers. He didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him uh, uh, might be saved. That was the state uh, of the people. Look at the state of the people that he came to save. You know what I'm saying? Once was Holland crucified. Let his blood be upon us and our children. Yeah, they, they was wicked too. 
he was not talking about Edom. <laughs> the Edomites, no, 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 Israel was tripping too. So, brother, if you see a man overtaken in a fault, here we go again. We're dealing with a demographic demographic of people that came out of all walks of wickedness that believed the word, accepted uh, the Messiah into their life, and vowed to change, was baptized into his death because they believed to rise up to walk in the newness of life. And there are some people that went through that process should be walking in the newness of life, and they fall. Yeah, they mess up. But 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 ye which are spiritual, restore. <clears throat> you would ask, well, well, you got to be spiritual then, right? And I would answer and say, yeah, the word said, ye which are spiritual. <laughs> You which are spiritual restore. Well, who then is spiritual? I know Romans the eighth chapter say, um, they that are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they're his children. If you ain't led by a spirit, you don't belong to him. If you're not led by a spirit, you don't belong to him. That's ye which are spiritual. <laughs> Those that claim to be to be saved. The, the, those that belong to him care about what the Most High care about. And, and the Most High care about his children and the salvation of his children. See, the scripture discloses that it's by the goodness of, of, of the Most High that leadeth the man to repentance. When, when, when you're saved and you have some maturity and you're walking in it, uh, you got a testimony. Of, of times that you wasn't walking in it. Times when you were struggling. Times when you made mistakes. But it was by his goodness. His, his consistency and his love. Yeah. Looking past your faults all you need. Didn't let you go. Yeah. Didn't let you go. Yeah. Took you to the transformation process. It's by its goodness that leads the man to repentance. If you investigate even when the gospel was introduced to you, if, if the person witness to you knew anything about him, he was able to tell you about his goodness. And then we're so acquainted and so much the more of his goodness when we acquire a relationship with him. Him dealing with us. We be doing stuff wrong that we didn't even know was wrong, but yet he still was blessing us and covering us. Yeah. 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 When, when he gave the great commission, he's, he's commissioned uh, the disciples to go and to teach and tell folks, share, share with the folk what he shared with them. Yeah, he's compelling them uh, uh, to teach all nations and baptizing them. Yeah, in the name of Yahushua. All preachers said in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. It said in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Ruach HaKodesh, or and of the Holy Ghost. Of the, belonging to. It didn't say names Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is a title. Father is a title, Son is a title, and, and, and Ruach HaKodesh is a title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said in the name, and if you look at name, it didn't have no S on it. It wasn't plural. It was one name that fit all three descriptions. There, there's a name that fits the Father, and it fits the Son, and it fits the Spirit. Yeah. One name. Name of the Father. And that's exactly what they did. In the name of salvation, because the name in and of itself means Yah is salvation. That's what the name means. The singular name means Yah is salvation. The creator, the father, is our salvation. And the salvation of mankind had to be done by man. So Yah became that man. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And the word was made flesh. 
the word that was Yah, the word that was spoken in the beginning. The word that created all things. And without him was not anything made that was made. That word that Adam went against came down 75 generations or 42 from Abraham uh, to the birth to be, to be found fashioned as a man. In the name of salvation, we was already toe up. We was already wicked. He understood that. That's why he did it. Adam blew it and, and mankind has, has waxed worse and worse. That one sin snowballed. Snowballed down thousands and thousands of years. And is still rolling and swollen as of today. That one sin snowballed into the mess we're looking at right now. But in the midst of that mess, the Most High is still moving and he's still saving. And he's looking past the faults of those that love him, those that believe him. Come on, somebody. He's looking past their faults. They, 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 they decided, I want to be saved. I don't, I don't want to live like this. I, I, don't, I, I wasn't born to die like a devil. I wasn't born to be a devil. This place will transform you into a devil. You're born in sin, and the climate, the prince of the air got this place wired with wickedness, perversion, sex, money, and drugs, betrayal, and wickedness. Come on, somebody. And, and, and our evil nature can, can rock with that. We, 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 we can roll with that, and we've been rolling with it. So he didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world. We was already towed up from the floor. He sent his son to rescue us even from ourselves. And then he told us to save ourselves from this untoward generation. We decided to do that. We was with it. His sheep hear his voice. We was with it. I don't want to live out. I, I ain't hopping on mattresses and on drugs and run around here with guns and acting the fool and just, just, just stressed out and just, no, I want something different. Gospel came, we hopped on. And in this race, you can fall. He said, if any man sin, he have an advocate though. He told us that if we don't cover our sins, but we confess it and forsake it, he's going to have mercy. Because he wants to have mercy on us. And that's the scripture that he's given his children. We have the spirit of reconciliation. Yeah, we love what he loves. We're about our father's business. What well, he about his children about the salvation and the rescue of his children in the midst of this wickedness. He's looking for his children. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault, falling in sin after he received the most high, we're supposed to go in restoration mode. Those are the spiritual. And everyone that's saved is supposed to be spiritual. You're supposed to have the love of the most high living in you because that's what was baptized inside of you. What was baptized inside of you was the spirit of the most high. And the spirit of the most high is love. Yah is love. You with your spiritual. Oh, that ain't me. Well, then you ain't saved. I'm talking to you. We got the responsibility not to turn the blind eye. We ain't gonna play like the monkey, see no evil, hear no evil, say no. We ain't gonna play. I saw it. And I'm gonna come in the spirit of love. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be like a, a vulture. You get a little hole, they start picking at it. Mm -mm, you get a little sore, you're done. <laughs> Brother, if a man is overtaken in the fault, they fell into a rut. They got side swat. Their flesh ro rolls up on them. Caught them off guard. What you going to do? If you're spiritual, you're going to go into restoration mode. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Considering thy own self. Yeah, it's by his grace that you stand in. Considering thy own self. At least you also be tempted. Mm -hmm. Bear ye one another's burdens, right? F folks, folks fall and you don't, you don't, you don't want the burden. <laughs> Are you strong enough to bear their burden? Folks fall, you don't want you don't want to bear their burden. You 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 don't want to hassle. <laughs> you, you ain't got time for this, huh? Good to see you on, Renee. 
Uh, Charvet, good to see you as well. Come on, somebody. You don't want to bear the burden. You don't want to go through the hassle. Too much of a hassle, Pastor Gillette. Good to see you, sir. It says, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill ye the law of the Mashiach, the law of the spirit of life. The spirit of this, the, the, the most high spirit has a law, and that and that law is life. Yeah. And, and, and that life is the Mashiach. He didn't come into the world to condemn the world. We already condemned. We already messed up. Don't be surprised if somebody fall. What su surprise you if you don't go help them up? If you, if you don't want to go through the burden. Who for the joy that's the Messiah? Who for the joy that was set before him endured the, the torture state? What they call the cross. He endured it. Why? Who for the joy of rescuing his kinfolk? Who for the joy that loved what the father loved, and that was his children. Being found fashioned as a man, he loved his brethren. And he took on a heavy burden. He ended up in the garden of Gethsemane, sweating blood. The medical term for that, I forget the name of it, but it's, 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 it's a level of stress that will kill you. Had he had sin in his life, he would have been dead. He stressed to, a le to the level that supersedes death. But death had no claims on him because he never sinned. So he just had to endure the agony. What a burden. He bared, he bared our, 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 our burdens. He bore them. Yeah, he carried them. Yeah, he was whipped for them. <laughs> for our transgression. What a burden. And now the baton has been passed to us to bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the love of the, of the law of the Mashiach. Yeah, you, you fulfill it. That's what we're commissioned to do as his body. We were baptized into the Messiah's body. Now we're supposed to rise up to walk in the newness of life. And the newness of life is walking in his shoes. If you see somebody overtaken in the fall, overtaken in sin, they belong to the Most High. You know they called on the Most High. What happened? Something happened. And he made provisions in his word for their rescue. He, he, he ain't just writing folks off. <laughs> yeah, he got, he got all kind of provisions in there. He got unmerited favor to rescue his children, to build them up. And, and he's working through us as a body. That's why, again, 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, talk about the gifts. And it's, and, and it's there to help everybody with all, uh, uh, 12 and 7. Said, said the gifts is there to, to, to benefit the body, the whole body. Our gifts is to edify one another. We're supposed to be assembling, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. And we're supposed to be exhorting one another, lifting one another up, encourage, encouraging one another to keep going. It's a weird spirit, somebody fall and you have see, I told you they wasn't no good. Evil surmising. Mother Katie, good to see you all. James, 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 James Harris, good to see you, man. Bear, bear, bear you one another's burdens. Bear, bear you one another's burdens. That's what this is all about. Willing to go through that somebody else might live. Laying down your life that somebody else might live. It's easy for us to, to, to it's easier, because some folks is funny. All they're doing is self-preservation kick. That ain't that's not of the most high. But 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 some folks will, can minister and help somebody long as somebody is hurting other people, not them. But if they come against them, that's when they claim that they the seed of the Satan. Touch not my prophet, do my prophet no harm. And it's better that a millstone be tied about your neck. That, that you was praying for them and helping them when they when they was keying somebody else's car. When they keyed your car, now they're the seed of Satan. The daughter of Lucifer. A slithering, slimy snake, assassinating, sinful, sick devil. Because they went against you. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 the but but the Mashiach 
endured such, such a great contradiction of sinners against himself. Yeah, it wasn't against others. It was against himself. They wanted to crucify him. The people he was helping wanted to crucify him. And, and his testimony was, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He still made the excuse for their wickedness. That sinful nature that snatches people captive and will keep you. The only thing that will break you from your wicked nature is being a believer. You know you captive if you hear the word time in and time out and you still sleeping around. You still cussing. You still lying. You still ain't faithful. You still won't give. You still won't forgive. Come on, somebody. You know that's, that, that sin will snatch you. Don't underestimate playing with sin. It's deceitful. It will snatch you and choke the life out of you. When the sower went to sow and he sowed the word and it said the riches of this world will choke the word and they became uh, 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 unfruitful. There's things that will choke the word. I choke it. Talk about jujitsu. Get you in a chokehold and choke the life out of you. That's why if you see somebody overtaking the fault, you should have the spirit of the most high. You should care. And you should be willing to go through a burden. You should be willing to be inconvenienced that they might live. Oh, come on, somebody. It's the truth. Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill you the love of uh, the law of the, the, the Mashiach, right? For if any man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. When you think you're too good, you think you're too good? If any man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. You, you, you're too good to suffer, to help somebody else? You, you don't want the burden, huh? You can't give them a ride, huh? They can't live at your house, huh? They can't even visit. Your money is your money. I got mine, you get yours. If any man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Yeah. And even one that fall. When you get helped up, when you get helped up, be humble. Because that's a humbling experience have, have, for, for the brothers and sisters to have to come rescue you. Yeah. But it, it will cause you to know it's by his grace, it's by his goodness, it's by the operation of the Most High that we're making it. And those of us that's going to make it to the end is through the operation and the unmerited favor of the Most High. But yet we still got a responsibility. And the fourth verse says, but let every man prove his all work. Yeah, yeah. If I'm overtaking the fault and you come lift me up, you, you don't, you're not my crutch. I can't have pastor salvation. Curse is the man that trusts the man and make it flesh his strength. You're not my strength. The most high is. One planet, another water, but it's the most high to get an increase. I got to get increase from, 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 from the most high. So he that planted this nothing, he that watered nothing, but it's the most high to get an increase. I should be grateful to, for the planter. I should be grateful. I should support the planter. I should support the waterer. But the end, the end scheme, the only thing that's going to save me is my own personal relationship with the Most High, period. Nothing else. Not the planter or the water. If I get a planter, a glass of water, in the name of being a prophet and or a planter, I shall receive a planter's reward. The Most High will bless me for, for blessing the, the planter and the water. But in the scheme of my personal salvation, it's Yah and Yah alone. Yeah. And I got to prove my own work. I got to prove my own relationship with him. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. I can talk about Paul, Saul. I can talk about Peter, Kepha. I, I, I can talk about Moses, Mose. I can talk about all of them. I can talk about you being there for me and helping me. Yeah. But I got to be able to look in the mirror of the word and find myself, find how I changed, find how I'm growing. 
I got to be able to look in the mirror of the word and see I'm starting to look like the most high myself. It can it only go so far that I brag on how saved you are, but I'm still smoking cigarettes and cussing. That only goes so far. Oh, yeah, I know him. He's saved. You need to be able to look in the mirror of the word and say, I'm saved too. Yeah, but let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You need to see the most high in you. For every man shall bear his own burden. Fear first, y'all. For every man shall bear his own burden. He said, take up your straws, your cross, your torture stake. He said, take up your torture stake and follow me. I got to bear my own burden. Folk, we supposed to help one another. If, you, if I'm overtaking the fault and you're spiritual, you're supposed to help me up. But I'm supposed to get up. She I ran to somebody on a gurney laying on the bed. <laughs> He said, take up your bed and walk. He healed them. Now get up and walk. I'm not going to carry you. Get up and walk. Grow up. Take some responsibility. You stop sleeping around. You stop cussing. You get off liquor. You do it. And after you have suffered a while, he'll establish you in the faith. He'll strengthen you and establish you. When you're willing to go through and bear your own burden. He will raise you up and you'll be meat for the master's use. He'll be able to use you. Because that's what he planned to do. All things work together for, for the good to them that love you and is called according to his purpose. You, you got something to do with him. You, you do. You ain't just here to stop cussing. Stop sleeping around. He'll deliver you from, from sin and then he'll use you. And you should be meat for the master's use. Good to hear me preach. You need to be doing something yourself. You need to be praying for folks. They need to see your life change. They, 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 they need to be able to see the good in you and magnify your father which is in heaven. They need to see the miracle of your transformation, of your change, of the fact that you were called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For let every man, for every man shall bear his own. Whatever he's allowing you to go through, whatever you survive, rape, molestation, somebody in your family got killed, loved ones dying on you, money funny. Seem like we're in the twilight zone with everybody with little diapers on their face. Everybody shall bear his own burden, however you're looking at the circumstances. Whatever you're going through, good to see you on, Alpha. Whatever you got to face, he has given you the grace to go through it. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. But with the temptation, with the situation, make a way of escape that you might be able to bear it. And the might be is not on him, it's on you. Because some folks don't want to bear it. They throw in the towel. You see somebody throw in the towel, we need to go into restoration mode. If they chose the most high to be their father, we need to go into restoration mode. Shake them. Get up from that sitting down. Y'all can't use you sitting down. Come, come out of that sin. Mm-hmm. So they can stand up and walk. Because every man has to bear his own burden. Sixth verse says, Let him that is taught in the word communicate on him that teaches in all good things. Here we go again. Those that are spiritual is a restoration. He has a body of believers. And he has ecclesiastical headship. He got those that communicate the word. That's the job. They're ordained to pastor and to look over the flock. And this is saying, let him that is taught in the word. You're, you're being taught the word. Uh, the, 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 the planter isn't nothing and the water isn't nothing, but it's the most high to get an increase. That don't mean overlook the planter or the water. That means the planter or the water ain't trying to get no credit. Because they had to be saved by the word too. And the only thing they're passing to you is the word, which is the savior. 
Yeah, the word was made flesh. The word is the savior. Yeah. That's why when they tried to give the Mashiach credit in the flesh, he said there's none good but the word. There's none good but the father. The father is the word because what makes you a father is being a creator. And everything was created by the word. The spirit of the most high is the father. The words that I speak only you are spirit and life. The spirit is the word. The creator. It was the spirit that overshadowed Mary and got her pregnant. If you watch the pregnancy and the birth of the Messiah, it was the, it was the Ruach HaKadosh. What they call the Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary and she became impregnated. The word. Yeah. He spoke it. It went out of his mouth and then returned void. She got pregnant. Let him that is taught in the word. We need the word, y'all. If you're a student of the word, we're supposed to bear each other's burdens. We're supposed to be all for the, the saving of souls. We're, we're not supposed to be forsaken and assembling. We're supposed to be assembling and coming together so the, mo the most high is in the midst and he's saving us and he's taking us through a transformation process and we're working together as a body. And folks that are receiving the word are supposed to communicate. And communicate means to give, to support, to take care of. Let him that is taught in the word communicate on him that teaches and all good things. Look it up. <laughs> NIV say, nevertheless, uh, the one who receives instruction in the word should share all good things with the, their instructor. Yeah, that's what that means. Uh -huh. Then it went on to say, Be not deceived, Yah is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Um, this world is like passing away. The flesh is so deceitful that if it appears like the pressure of destruction starts to ease up, then we ease up and start easing away from the most high. That's just how that evil nature works. A lot of pressure has been implied since 2020 hit. A lot of pressure, a lot of abnormal pressure because judgment is here for, for sin. But what it does for his children and it causes his children to digress from the world, to be called out of the darkness into the marvelous light, and they start navigating towards the most high. He said, you draw now to me, I draw now to you. We're starting to navigate towards him. And he allowed, you know, the pressure causes one to do that. Wicked people start to ease, but they're, they're considering on easing. They really don't ease towards him that much. But if it seems like the pressure is lifting, then those that are wicked under the influence of the flesh, they start going back to, you know, to their sin. They, they start, they start, you know, you know. In other words, be not deceived. Right? Yah's not mock whatsoever man soweth. Whatever you're doing, that's what you're going to reap. Do not be surprised if you live like the devil and you don't go to heaven. Even if the lying preacher at the funeral home preaches you into heaven, that don't mean that you went. That just means he needs to stop lying before he ends up where you at. Yeah. Be not deceived. Yah's not mocked. You're not going to mock him. You're not going to be able to come to him and say, oh, I thought you said, and it didn't happen. That ain't going to happen. Be not deceived. Do not fool yourself. Jeremiah 17 and 9, I believe it's 9 chapter, but it says uh, the, the heart of man is deceitful above all things. You, your heart will trick you. You'll be all wrong, but, but, your, but that heart of ours, our stinking thinking will convince us that we're right. There's a way to seem right to a man, but the end of it is the ways of death. Come on, somebody. Be not deceived. That's why he said, be not deceived. Don't be fooled. Yah is not mocked. Whatsoever a man so whatever you doing, that's what you're going to reap. That's why he gave you the grace to do what's right so you can sow right. Well, how you live is your sowing. You living in sin, you sowing. And you're going to reap death. If you live for the most high, you're going to reap life. Look what it say. Be not deceived. Yah is not mocked for whatsoever man saw that shall he also reap. Those that belong to the most high have been bought with a price and their life is no longer their own. And they sow in the kingdom. They preaching and teaching. They giving. 
They're forgiving. They'll give a ride. They'll share the shirt off their back. They share their money, their time. They in it. They in it to win it. They forsook in this world. Their old goals that they had is gone. I'm not. I'm not trying to outdo the Joneses on that level. I'm not trying to uh, be uh, rich and successful on that level to the level of selling my soul and turning my back on the Most High, working my fingers to the bone, and ain't got no time to read or pray or have my relationship with the Most High, working in the kingdom. I ain't got no time to do no kingdom building because I'm too busy carnal building, building a satanic system as opposed to the system of the Most High. Come on, somebody. Be not deceived. Y'all is not mine. For what's over man saw of that, and only that shall he reap. For, for, for he that saw to the flesh, to this natural nature, he that saw to the flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. You saw to the flesh, a bunch of cussing music, a bunch of cussing movies. You ain't reading and praying, but you listen to a bunch of cussing, uh, sexual, sick music, and looking at sick stuff. Well, you're going to reap corruption. You're going to die like a fool. He that saw to the flesh or the flesh, because of the nature of the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. But he that saw to the spirit shall, uh, sh shall, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. The Most High is freed from the law of sin and death. The law of sin and death. The law of sin is death. He has given us uh, uh, the law of the spirit of life. The spirit has a law, eternal life. If you if if you sow into the spirit, you're gonna reap the law of eternal life. If you sow to the flesh, that evil nature, the law of sin and death works. The law of sin is death. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life. Everlasting. So what he said was, let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we will reap if we faint not. Look, let us not be weary in working in the body. Seeing people that's overtaken in the fault, we go into restoration mode. That is the commission that we have. We, we, don't, we don't walk in selfishness. We don't walk trying to please this flesh. Because if you after sowing to the flesh, you ain't tripping on nobody else going through it. You ain't tripping on nobody else not saved. You don't care. You don't care about nobody else hungry or cold or or or, or haven't had a meal. That you you worried about you and yours. Brother, if a man be overtaken the fall, you with your spiritual, you go into restoration mode. You're surrounded in things to do. You're surrounded. You're surrounded in lost souls and people that need the most high, that need help. You're surrounded in it. Yeah, if you see somebody overtaking the fault, you're supposed to roll your sleeves up. Your spiritual sleeves should already be up and ready to work. And you should go to restore in the spirit of meekness. There's even methodology, meekly. Consider not our own self. At least they'll also be tempted. Bear one another's birth. you got to be willing to go through it. If you sow into the flesh, you ain't going to bear nobody uh, uh, burdens. The flesh don't operate like that. The flesh is, is down for, for, for itself. I mean, you get, you get, you get blessed. You want to bless the people of the Most High. You want to bless the house of Yah. You want to bless. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You don't want to sit fat. Your opportunity to come. Yeah. You'd even communicate to those that's teaching you in the word. You get blessed, you be a blessing. We're blessed to be a blessing. But when you sow to the flesh, you ain't into that. That's just not how you think. That's just not you. <laughs> he that sowed to the flesh or other flesh reap corruption. But he that sowed to the spirit or other spirit reap life everlasting. Right? Let us not be weary it's in well-doing. Don't get Listen, we're supposed to do this till he come get us. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap. He who's coming will come and ain't and will not tarry. He coming. 
Yeah. Let us be not weary and well doing. For in due season, and that's the most highest call, we'll reap if we faint not. Last verse on this one, y'all. It's as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. We should walk in the spirit of love, in the spirit of reconciliation. Yeah, we should, we should be down with one another, period. We should have one another's back spiritually, period. Especially if they're in the household of faith. Supposed to go out your way for the body. We're one body functioning together. It's the truth. I got a gift and I'm not even fasting and praying and developing the gift. You suffer. If you got a gift and you're not walking in it, I suffer. If you and I are not walking in the gift, the body suffer. Because we're one body. He's giving gifts in particular. And we're all working together for one common goal. And that, that the body make it. That the believer make it. That those that, if they fall, want to the man fall when he's alone. You're in trouble if you fall when you're by yourself. You're also in trouble if you fall around someone that that that, that has already failed. <laughs> you're around somebody, if you fall, they jump on the ground with you. Lay there. They want to do the drugs with you. They want to get drunk with you. They want to sleep with you. They want to backbite with you. They hate everybody just like you do. They holding grudges just like you. You, you tore up. But we're supposed to restore. Yeah, we're supposed to restore. We're in the reconciliation business. Yeah, we, we down for one another. We, we, we don't have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. We reprove them. We correct them. No, that's not right. And, and I'm not with that. We, no, no, it ain't no mums the word. There ain't no uh, uh, see no evil, hear no evil, uh, speak no evil. No, 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 no. I'm going to speak against the evil. <laughs> I heard what you said and I saw what you did and, and, I'm, and I'm not going to have no fellowship with it. I'm going to correct it because you belong to the most high and you ain't supposed to be living like that. You ain't supposed to be talking like that. You ain't supposed to be walking like that. I'm supposed to, I'm, if I love you, faithful are the wounds of a friend. If I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth. Come out from among, leave false doctrine alone and get with truth. I'm going to tell you the truth if I love you. Yeah. If somebody's overtaking the fault, doing something they shouldn't be doing. Doing something they shouldn't be doing or not doing what they should be doing. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. That flesh get wounded when it get corrected. But it's faithful. It will lead you to the most high. It will lead you towards reconciliation. It will build you up in the spirit. So you're supposed to say it. You're supposed to tell them. In wisdom, in meekness. In meekness, in the spirit of love. But you're supposed to be about your father's business. Brother, if a man be overtaken in the fall, ye which is spiritual, restore. Restore. Yeah, I want to get in the word with you. Restore. What you're teaching isn't true. In meekness, in the meekest way possible, we need to talk about it. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thy own self, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the love of the Messiah. The Messiah has us here to encourage one another, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. We're supposed to bear each other's burdens. For if any man think himself to be something when he's nothing, he deceives himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let every man prove his own work. After you're restored, you're supposed to prove yourself, prove your own work. So you can rejoice in the fact that you say. You don't have to rejoice in somebody else say. You ain't hating on the fact that they say, but you need to rejoice that you say, that you've been changed, that you've been delivered, that you've been turned around, and your feet has been placed on higher ground. Yeah, you need, you need to be able to say that. I need to be able to look in the mirror of the word and see that I'm not who I used to be. When I see the things that I normally would have done that's wrong and I didn't do it and I'm delivered from it, the only thing I can do is say hallelujah. I can rejoice in the fact that I have my own personal relationship with my creator. 
that he delivered me out of the hands of darkness. Transformed me into the kingdom of his dear son. And I can't do nothing but serve him. Because every man fit for us. Because every man got to bear his own burden. I got to overcome every obstacle that come in my life. If, if she is sexy to me and I'm married, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, if he's sexy to you, you can't do it. If it's wrong, you can. If, if, I don't care how big the bottle of liquor is. If he pull you off of it, you got you 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 got to bear your own burden. You can because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You can. He'll give you the grace to. That's why he said, grieve not the spirit. Don't, don't go against it. Let the word deliver you. He that is suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Your flesh not going to like it. But it's the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh is screaming and kicking in this salvation run. If you police in your flesh, then you got issues. Because the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. What made us alive is the word. And we're alive from our humanism. We're alive from our evil nature. We're alive from our flesh. He's rescued us from ourselves. And we do what the most high want us to do, whether it feel good or not. And nine times out of ten, it don't feel good doing what's good. Yeah. Let him that is taught the word communicate on him that teaches in all good things. Be not deceived. Your eyes not mocked. For what's over man soweth? Yeah. You should be pouring into the things of the most high. With your whole life. You've been bought with a price and your life is no longer your own. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life and he has permission to use you as he see fit. And he going to use you. And give you eternal life. He gonna keep you. He gonna protect you. And he gonna use you. That somebody else might be saved as well. Be not deceived. God's not mock. Whatsoever you're doing. However you're living. That's what you're gonna reap. If you're living according to your flesh. Your human nature. You're gonna die. You're gonna reap corruption. But if you sow to the spirit. You've been bought with a price. And, and you're about your father's business. You're going to reap life everlasting. And if that is the case. Do not faint. Do not quit. Be not weary and well-doing for a due season. You will reap if you faint not. And the first verse dealt with folks that fainted. Quickly restore them. Before the Most High come and move the candlestick from them. That's in Revelations. Hurry up and help them get back on their spiritual feet so they can finish bearing their own burdens and doing what the Most High has caused them to do. And when you're saved, you, you work for the Most High and the body, his body, the Mashiach's body. You're a part of the body, and whatever blessings you have, you're blessing the body that it might function until he come get us. As we have, therefore, opportunity, let's do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the household of faith. Hope y'all got something out the lesson. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly, you know how bleeding in the truth of uh, your word. That word is truth. It's truth. Um, give us the truth. Give us the truth. Give us the truth. We need it. We're hungry and thirsting for righteousness that we might be filled. Fill us up with the truth. That we may function accordingly. We need you. Save us. Forgive us for all sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the kingdom and the power, we got all the glory. The glory is yours. The Kaba is yours. Not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. I, I pray you were blessed by the lesson. You got something out of it that can help you along the way. I pray you are blessed. We got to look out for one another. Ain't no throwaways, y'all. See somebody fall, 
You ain't supposed to be, oh, see, I knew it. None of that. That could be you. Get in there and help them up. Don't don't get to get in there and help. Don't be a hater. Be a congratulator and a participator in the body, in the things of the most high. Come on, somebody. You see somebody mess up? Get in there. I knew they was a hypocrite. Nuh uh. Get in there and help them out. And you'll fulfill uh, the law, the law of the Messiah who saves you. He loves us. He loves me. You see me down. Please come help me up. Please come help me up. Don't be talking about, I, I knew it. Knew he did another dirty. I can tell the way he wear them hats. <laughs> help me up. I'm doing okay now. And I plan to do okay until he come get me. But if you ever see me falling, please help me up. And I'll do the same for you. Is that all right? Don't, don't, be, don't fall out with your family to the point that if a door open, you won't go in to give them the true love of the most high and help them up. All right? Don't be, don't be holding grudges. You don't forgive men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you yours. Don't you forget that. We all need him. Don't get high and mighty. Always be, I'm done. I, I, this seventh time, they, I'm done. No, uh-uh. You ain't done unless you, you ready to be done with the most high. The day you say you're done with them, the most high say, oh, then I'm done with you. Yeah, we forgive not men their trespasses, neither will the Heavenly Father forgive us ours. You hang in there. You go, you go into restoration mode. Sometimes you, you got to give folks 50 feet or they'll take 50 feet. You still be praying for them. You know, you just don't have action in helping them. One planet, another waters, you got to get an increase. You could have been a planner. Someone else got to water it, but you're still praying for it. And if a door open, you ain't the type, nah, I'm cool. No, nah, no, you can't be, mm -mm, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're spiritual, and we all got to be spiritual, if you're spiritual, you're going to restore. Hope y'all got this lesson. Did y'all preach this here, buddy? <laughs> preach this here, buddy. I'm out of here. Look, those of you that support the ministry, like the word was saying, communicating on to them uh, that, 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 that sows the word to you, uh, bless you. I, I, I'm humbled that you communicate in this ministry. And, and for this, I say thank you. If you're being blessed um, by by um, this ministry and would like uh, to communicate, to give, to support this ministry. It's my job to tell you how. If you have to cash out, all you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. And you can support the ministry like that. Right? You also go on my Facebook page in the messenger. There's a giving button in there. You can push that and support the ministry. Thanks for hanging out again. I pray you are blessed. My my brother elder will be a doing the prayer tomorrow morning. Y'all permit at at um six thirty at six thirty to seven and at seven thirty he'll be doing a sermon there from seven to seven thirty. Y'all chime in, hallelujah, and support. I probably am going to be able to listen. I have some business that I got to take care of tomorrow morning that I got to attend to, and that's exactly what I plan to do. So pray for me um, that I'm able to accomplish that. Uh, Y'all permit. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Abraka Shalom. I'm going.